It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right away. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Nassau, Bahamas, the Ghost. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody needs to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. 
Nice straight punch. He is all about that left kick to the body. Liver kick. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Circling to his right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Good stick. Right single collar tie now. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Nice one, two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. That one's not good. Nice play. Back and forth we go here. Kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. He's so committed to body punching. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Whiffs on the right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, wow, oh! The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. <laughs> Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go! Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand counter. Checks the leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Misses again with a right punch. Big punch land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Drink of water and listen. All right. I want you to set those kicks. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active 
in his approach to the start of this fight. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, nicely done as he blocks the shot and delivers that straight counter. Effective punch there by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Ooh. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, double leg lands. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice loop and punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh! Deuce hook. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And now they are thrown on both sides with conviction. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. So oh, this is where you don't want to be though. Well, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and He's gonna try to fall off to the side and pull his opponent up on top of him. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Which blocks the shot. Beautiful body kick. 15 seconds to go. Takedown defense holds up. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. He lands the right hand.
All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Big body kick lands. What a punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand punch from the clinch. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, and there's a land with the kick. So certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Big punch land through the middle. Single collar tie now. Leg kick. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just over three minutes to go. Battling for hooks. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Real nice body kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. It's a beautiful fast hook jab with meaning. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Back mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And he landed the right hand there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Beautiful kick. And he comes through with a big knee. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. How good is that right hand? Trying to find a home for that right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Slips the punch. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Lee's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Ooh, what a punch.
20 seconds to go. Nice head kick. Nice kicks there by Lee. Winded up on the right there to no avail. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Lee's shot is blocked. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Oh! to his feet. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Nice. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Back and forth we go. And they separate. Oh, that right hand is on point. over when he throws that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes to go now. Visibly limping here. And they separate. Liver kick. Blocks the strike. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Straight punch land. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward, and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Big punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. The right hand just misses. A oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back to the overhand left, no good. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. That's it. Let's go. Finish strong. Finish strong. Let's go. Oh, single collar tie here.
Just missed with that right hand. Nice little shot, Lance. That is it. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And the judges were looking at their phones. It's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.